So first of all, EFI was um, less limited without uh, grand vision of unification. Uh, so they mostly solved the key problems of, of early firmware. First of all was um, support for large disks. So uh, before EFI, support for bigger than two terabytes uh, hard disk was not uh, easy. And with EFI, it was implemented and uh, the storage uh, capabilities uh, started to be um, unlimited for at least for now. Uh, architecture independence, um, so you know, like uh, uh, moving to other um, architectures like ARM, RISC V, was not at uh, at that point. But EFI introduced that capability. Also, the uh, question about uh, thirty-two bit versus sixty-four bit um, also have had to be resolved, and that was the feature of um, EFI. Modular design and backward compatibility. Backward compatibility was introduced uh, introduced through a compatibility support module. And uh, what are the key UFI features? Um, so definitely uh, unified interfaces for programming and and services which could uh, be run runtime and and during boot process. So boot services, runtime services, which we, which we will discuss uh, further. Then. Um, uh, there is open start and standard uh, with modern uh, mostly C implementation, but there are also um, uh, bindings for other languages like MicroPython or Rust. So Rust, we can even write drivers or applications in Rust. Um, there is support for modern buses um, uh, like PCI, uh, PCI, SCSI, USB, ACPI. Uh, so ACPI is a like modern modern um, spec. And standard, um, so not not bus, but uh, there are also other standards supported by UFI. So uh, even some networking one. A lot of security features, secure boot, driver signing, and verification verification of that signature during this boot process. Um, crypto functions and key management. Um, also user interface, which right now can be very sophisticated, including um, some. Um, nice, vi nice visual effects and um, um, be even like fully blown operating system. Um, then um, modern runtime services, uh, which is a capability delivered for the operating system for various reasons. For example, obtaining memory map, obtaining uh, uh, time or, or various other um, features. Uh, Non-volatile OS accessible co configuration variables. This is also something introduced uh, in UFI. We will talk about the variables in other lectures. And built-in shell, which is very MS-DOS-like um, um, uh, execution environment. So e EFI uh, worked in protected mode, uh, which uh, provided um, um, long and, and virtual address space for applications. Um, so it resolved the address, um, the problem of addressability, uh, which was in legacy BIOS. Um, yeah, so um, UFI is highly abstracted and, and quite more complex firmware architecture. Um, the UFI spec has uh, more than 2000 uh, pages, PI spec got um, more than 1,000 pages. Um, the UFI API differs a lot from the legacy uh, BIOS interrupts, um, but um, but maybe from that point it's it's even better uh, because it provides um, open open specification and uh, it's easier to modify. Uh, it's probably most probably more secure and and faster. Uh, to faster to use, for, faster to, to extend. Yeah, so there were ma many BIOS problems that EFI already solved and then EFI features improved.